This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, it is the Ramble, and it's uh, coming to you from New York City, New York. And uh, we're uh, we're here, and we'll be here until midnight tonight, uh, doing this little uh, little ritual that we do every day. In a little bit, we're going to go out to our citizens panel, but right now it is, of course, uh, a wonderful, beautiful, uh, terrific Friday. And and look who's throwing stuff in the garbage can. Hi. Huh? It's Friday, it's Friday. Bum, 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 bum. I hope they're not hearing too much of that air conditioner because when I have both mics on, the air conditioner. Do you want me to skirt on no, over no, there? No, 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 you're fine where you are. You sure? Yeah, let me get, let me go to the, Hi. the split screen so that we Here can... Here we go. Uh, huh? Hi. Yeah, so we can have both of us there. See? It's Friday, it's Friday. It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Yeah. I took off Monday because the girls were in, and I find that. What we, do you mean the girls were in? Explain who the girls are. I want to say it was a mini. These are your lesbian girlfriends. It was a mini <laughs> high school reunion. You all go down I've, on each other at but, lunch. But I've known these these women since elementary school. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. So it goes back a long way. But I yeah. did take Friday and Monday off. So when you take a day off and have a long weekend, which is nice. The four days of this week just dragged. I mean, I just was exhausted. Well, four weeks, four days of my life every week drags. Every d- week drags. I, I crawl to Friday. <laughs> and this week I tried not to take any pills to put me to sleep. Bad idea last night. Because I woke up maybe four times. And then I couldn't, I slept six hours and couldn't get back to sleep. You know. Six hours is my normal. You know. Uh, it's six hours is your normal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I have a seven hours of sleep, I feel great. Eight, is, I have... But what if you didn't take all those drugs when you went to sleep at night? I'd probably be up. So you're hooked. Well, you know, there's certain pills that do make you drowsy, so I do take them at night. Okay, what do you take to make you drowsy? I don't want to go over this. No, let's uh, go no, over No, I don't. Well, it, uh, first it's of all, It's none of anybody's Z- business, and I don't want to discuss it. There's Xanax. I don't want to... There's Xanax, dis- which I Alex, take. I'm going to get out and walk out of this room... I don't want to talk about it. And the rest of them are, are just uh, vitamins. Are just M and M's. M and M's. That you had to. Uh, you're 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 getting us a whole new um, uh, medical plan, right? Well, we're looking into it. I mean, I don't know how it's going to get paid. I mean, I'm sure my company, but I don't know how we have to deal with it. How it can't get paid out of my office. It's got to come out of our checking accounts if we do it directly. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, no. The 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 actual one of the actual plans. I think your your people can pay for. It. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but the check doesn't go to us. It has to go to them. Yeah. Anyway, we'll worry about that. Anyway, it, it's it's gonna be. It, but it's a, it'd be a good plan if we got it. Yeah. Because it'd be better than what we've got. I'm saving the company like uh, you know almost a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. So over what they pay. What what it would be is that we would go and do uh, what do you call it? Uh, we uh, do Medicare supplemental, and uh, also uh, do Medicare Part D. Well, it includes yeah. Part D. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't include Part D. Well, then you no, do Part it, D, and then you also do the supplemental. Whatever. And it's uh, it, the supplemental is the most expensive part of it, but uh, it's, it wouldn't be bad if we could get it because I, you know, you you get an advantage out of our medical plan because. You get your thousand dollars out of the way pretty fast because you have a hobby of going to the doctors. You know, I don't like to have this conversation. Is going? Why? I'm going to go to bed very early, what, like what in mean? about what, three what, minutes. Why don't you like the way I the conversation? I don't want to talk about my medical problems. I'm not. You don't have any medical problems. Okay. I You're do. the one. I do. I have my torn meniscus. Yeah, we're going to hear about that forever. Yeah, and I have a hernia. Now we're going to hear about that and too. And I have tingling in my feet. And your esophageal cancer. No, no, I, I, I think I have esophageal cancer. You but do. That's just my. You know, if somebody I know dies of something, then you have I, then it. I then I worry I have it. You have it you all. Know. But you know, I can't. Uh, uh, I was talking to Ronnie the other day. My, the previous you. Wife uh, number two. Wife number two in a series, and. Uh, <laughs> 
You made it to number four. That's true. Uh, and uh, I, I said to her, I said, I feel guilty about my, when I talk to you, I said, I feel guilty about my hypochondria because, you know, you got the big one. You got the pancreatic cancer. And uh, they had an operation, and, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to work out for her. She had a great line in her, in her column, which it, her uh, web, web blog, okay, which is called uh, timegoesby.net, all right? And you should read this because I think she's doing some of her best writing now because it, it, it's coming from a place that very few of us want to think about, okay? Death. And she was talking about the fact that she decided to have the chemotherapy. And the reason she said decided to have the chemotherapy was because, uh, you know, I mean, she's gone this far with this operation where they just, you know, they cut you open like a carp and take out a lot of your stuff and... Uh, she said, you know, if, if the chemo would help, then I'll do it. She said, but everybody, people have been writing me, she says, saying, hey, uh, why, don't you, uh, why don't you do this? Why don't you use uh, such and her such. herbs and, uh, you know, what, what do they call it? enema. Holistic medicine. And her line was, you know, if a holistic medicine worked, flax seeds would be cost $5,000 $5, an ounce. Mm -hmm. And she's right. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I mean, it's amazing that aspirin was made so many years ago before the pharmaceuticals realized, because that would have been an it expensive is, it, drug. It, uh, aspirin is one of the most powerful drugs we have. It's a great drug. Yeah, it does a lot, and uh, it, it does. would it would be a pharmaceutical drug today. Yeah, and, and it is perhaps one of the few. It's a wonder medicine. It is. It really is. You know, it's it does good stuff for your heart. Does away with headaches, aches and pains, what have you. You know, and now they make it so it doesn't rot your stomach too. So, well, it's funny because when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and we were given aspirin, my mother also gave us soda mints, which is basic soda oh, mints, bicarbonate of soda in a little tablet. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, and that would line your stomach. Oh, and that would help, uh, not with the, because aspirin used to. If you remember, you could take aspirin, drop it in water, and it would dissolve within seconds. And now it doesn't do that anymore. It's like this stuff here, and it, it's not, you know, if I threw this in a, in a glass of water, it wouldn't, wouldn't fizz. It wouldn't, it wouldn't dissolve, okay? But you remember how aspirin used to dissolve? Anyway, soda mints kind of lined your stomach. Soda. Soda, soda mints, they, they were called? called, yeah. Well, isn't that the same as like a Tum or, you know, any other kind of antacid? Maybe, but this came out way back when. Yeah, yeah. But Probably. then again, it, it may have not... The problem may have been with that, I'll tell you, is that if you coat your stomach with something that coats your stomach, and then you take a, a drug like aspirin, it might not work because... No, but they found that aspirin was very harsh on children. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that well, they, was that, preventative. Aspirin was causing, what was that? What was that? Bleeding no, ulcers. No, no, mental. It was a kind of mental thing. They, they uh, Oh, I'm trying to remember what it is now. Uh, but it, no, there was a, uh, a a disease that could be caused by aspirin. Did you have it? And then yeah, how, how you cured it with aspirin? Stop taking aspirin. You know, with, with aspirin. <laughs> no. Uh, Drink a glass of water. I'm trying to remember what they, that, what what aspirin used to do. I bet somebody will write it here or something. Or well, I'm sure it. you had it, Alex. Huh? I'm sure you had it as one of your ailments. It says, "Don't need insurance. Just stock up on Robitussin." <laughs> Well, I, you know what I what I uh, what I hated was uh, is the cost of drugs. I mean, I had a drug that I, uh, that was boosting my uh, cholesterol, my statin, okay, and um, it was ten dollars copay. All of a sudden, my insurance company decides it's going to be a thirty-five dollar copay. And then the funny, really funny part about it was, remember I called the. Uh, I, I called them. I called my pharmacy, and they said, "Well, you know, you could go to the uh, generic. The generic just came out because they finally had a generic for this." I think we heard this story. Yeah, yeah. I just I worth telling again. Okay. I gotta, I gotta waste time here, uh, and uh, I um, uh, now you made me forget what I was saying. There oh, we yeah. go, hey, Phil. <laughs> um, no, we. Um, uh, oh God. Uh, what was I talking about? I have no idea. What was, I was somewhere. I was going in some direction. But you're always going in some direction. Something about aspirin. This is why I'm quitting, folks. This is the reason why I'm retiring. Something about aspirin. 
Huh? Aspirin. I have no idea. In the brain, something with the brain no, of the child. There was something with a child. There was a disease. All right, so just forget child. it and move on. I don't on. even know what this is. Am I doing a show so here? So just forget it and move on to the next thing. You spend too much time no, I saying. Have decided. What is it that I, I was I, saying? I've decided it's time for me to retire. No, I'm I'm losing my Mine. abilities. When I can't can't keep a solid thought going, and I'll never go go back to it. It's kind of like. You know, I don't know if this still happens to you with marijuana, but when you smoked marijuana, you would be in the middle of a sentence and then you couldn't remember what you were talking about. That happens to me normally. Well, I'm not doing pot. <laughs> I shouldn't have that happen. I always have that. And then I find that little rudimentary things I'm doing every day, like posting Like the leaving shows. the flame on on the stove. What was it, two days? It's very two quiet. Two days? It's very quiet, and I forget. Two days it was on. Listen, you're worried about the house burning down, which it won't, okay? I don't care. I get what nervous I'm seeing what the I'm flame. Worried, what I'm worried about is the gas bill next month, <laughs> you know. But, uh, and you know, I know what you do. I know what you do because you want to get something on me. So you, what you do is you come home every day, and I bet you do this, you look at the stove. Damn right I look at the <laughs> yeah. stove. Uh, and, and then she, she goes, Alex, will you come in here? And I, you know. Just, because if I turn it off. What's the point? The point is, you saw this, this flame that was going, and it bothered you so badly. I said, Alex, come here. Y you know, so she says, Alex, come here, and then she points to the stove. What is different but in when, this kitchen? But when you came in today from work, did you go into the kitchen and look at the, at the Eventually. stove? Eventually. Yeah. You wanted to see if I left the pilot, if I left the light on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See? Absolutely. And this is, this is what my... I'm, and the other thing he's doing now is forgetting to lock the front door. That's been happening quite often. Only a couple of times. Like three or four times. No, not three or yes. four times. It yes. was two times. It was, it was more two than times. two times. It was two times. <laughs> Lying sack of shit. See, that's why I'm quitting. I'm, I'm retiring. <laughs> it's, it's time for me to retire. I can't, like, uh, I, 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 I'm posting the shows. I'm making too many mistakes. I found out that for five solid days... The exchange didn't get posted. It got posted, but there was no audio because I had I had written the numbers down wrong, and well, I just I cut and, that? I cut and paste some cut and paste some cut. And well, paste. whose fault is that? Well, that was my fault. You're but rushing, I, but I things. never used to make that kind of mistake. Well, you're older now. You never used to be this age. So yeah, oh, there. Oh well, well, what I was going to say is the other day I'm doing an interview with uh, who was I doing it with? I was doing it with Stephen Pearl. And my phone rings. Well, I didn't know. And it's you. And she says, uh, 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 well, I'll call you back later. I said, I'm doing an interview. See, she knows it between 1 o'clock in the that. afternoon and 2. I'm I don't know that. I'm in the office. I'm doing my work. And I thought of something that had to deal with you. So I called yeah, you. You needed my social security number. And the letter. For, for the Medicare. So it had to have the, my social security number plus the uh, A. A. Okay. And uh, I told Pearl uh, on the air, and people maybe heard this last night, I said, you know, there was a time when she would call me up, and the <laughs> message she had for me was, I just thought I'd call and tell you how much I love you. <laughs> and now it's, what the fuck is your Medicare number? <laughs> well, and that's what it's become We've now. all evolved. What is your Medicare number? <laughs> you know, is, 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 you know, I'm... I'm going to get off Medicare, by the way, because it'll make me feel younger. You do that. I don't know what I'll do for medicine, but, you know, I, but I have to pay 20% anyway because they have this 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 minimum, uh, the insurance company, of $1,000. Of deductible. In, in network. In network, right? So I'm never going to make that 1000 I just don't go to the doctors that often. But you... Every time I talk to you, where are you, I'm leaving work early, I'm going to the chiropractor. What are you doing? I'm getting off work, I'm going to the spine doctor. What are you doing? I'm going to the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, something else doctor. I mean, uh, yeah, it goes on and on and on. Yeah, but you've met your thousand dollars already, right? I'm working on the, the out of network. <laughs> the out of network? Yeah. Yeah, the out of network is three thousand. No, I actually, mean, all my doctors now are are okay. Are in network. Oh, I forgot. Like, you know what I forgot to do? What? I forgot to call the dentist to tell her to try again. Well, I called and left the message because it was the day that they closed the office, and I said, "Send me the invoice, and I'll take care of it." Did you say really? Yeah, I told that to Connie. I left it on on the machine. Oh. I said, 
I said, I know there's a problem. Send it to me, and I'll take care yeah, of it. Yeah, because the insurance company somehow doesn't think I exist. Right. And they did this twice. Yeah. Even though you called them and got it sorted out. Yeah. And when she gets things sorted out, They're sorted she gets out. Thing, they get sorted out. That's why you're so good at the job you do. It's true. You I'm put, an organizer. You put out fires. That's true. Yeah. I start them, too. She's an office manager. Yeah. Yeah. I put out your fire. I put out your flame. <laughs> so anyway, so you're mad. You're, you're, you think I should change my behavior on this show? Well, sometimes you're grouchy. I mean, a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you're grouchy. Well, most of the time you're grouchy. Yes. Well, that's what makes me irras irrepressible. And I used to listen to you first thing. Now I listen to you after Morning Joe. Yeah. That's the order now. Oh, I see. You listen to Morning Joe in your office? Yeah, my earphones. Um, oh, I see, because they're still on when you were... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm in yeah. the office at 5 after 6. But you're, 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 you were mad at me because of the way I yelled at Phil last night. Yes! And your point is? point is that's the way you yell at me well no if, <laughs> <laughs> i don't like hearing it if you know people love this with you and i they what? love this whole thing what this whole thing the whole uh, magic that we have here oh on the air. yes magic yeah <laughs> It's the Bickering Bickersons. Did you ever remember there were these people on the radio, Donna Michi and Francis Langford? See, I can remember that. Of course. And they were the uh, the Bickersons, and they were a fighting couple. They went on the end every week. They fought. They were a very popular show. We could, you know, maybe this is the second, the last part of my career. Maybe Your I last can, chapter. We sh I should get us a show where you and I go on for a couple hours. And no, just I, a half an hour. And just argue with each other. A half an hour. No, it has to be an hour at least. Maybe uh, two hours. If it's a day two hours. and a daily show. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> no, and you can just tell me when I'm full of crap. Well, you're full of crap. And so on. And so, anyway, she's taking pity on Phil because I... Well, because, well, yes. Well, what happened was, I, and this happened last night, was that he interrupted interrupts and then because i'm addled at 77 because you're lame uh, I, I i forget what i'm talking about you always forget what you're talking about no, i don't forget yes, what do. i'm talking about i well i do but now. don't blame it on him well you know i love phil phil and i have known i've known phil longer than i've ever known you well that's true you know but one time you did say to me now phil that he said did i ever really know him yeah, no i knew him i knew him <laughs> I remember Phil. I remember Mama. It's just he looked different back then. <laughs> well, we all looked different back then. We all back looked then. different back then. <laughs> um, but anyway, so... So we had an anniversary dinner this uh, week. Oh, oh yeah. yeah here's, here's her idea. Of no, it. it's not. It's just nice to go out. Well, no, this is a woman's anniversary because guys think in terms of anniversary, what is an anniversary to a guy? It's a day you forget, and then your wife makes you pay for it for the rest of the year. Okay. I have it on your calendar. You have it on my calendar. I can't miss it. And this time I saw anniversary, and I went, didn't we have one in March? Well, didn't we give our deposition? Didn't you say we were married in the summer? <laughs> we were married in March, and I, 27th? Mm -hmm. See, I got it right. There you go. I got it right. And I went, what is this anniversary? So I call her up, and I say, we're having dinner because it's our anniversary? And she says, yeah. I said, but we had an anniversary back in March, and she says, no, this is the anniversary of when we went out on our first date. That's right, and actually it was the fourth, but we accompany, so I made it on so, Wednesday. So, so, uh, uh, so, we, so we go to this restaurant, and okay, so she wants to celebrate that anniversary. That's fine, but she turns it into a colossal ruse, okay? Because I get, we get there, and they say, oh, this way, uh, uh, and happy anniversary. <laughs> and I'm going, it's not our anniversary. And then we get up there, and then you order dessert, and on the plate in chocolate, they write happy anniversary. And your point is? Point is, I'd like to go there twice a year, but we can only go there once a year, because if we went there twice a year, and we said it was our anniversary, they'd know the jig was up. Well, we could say it's a birthday. Huh? A birthday. It's a birthday. Uh, okay. birth. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I have no reason not to want to go to that restaurant. Although the, uh, I got a braised beef uh, in a polenta, which I can't have the polenta. Right? It didn't say polenta. It said mushrooms. That's what it said. Yeah. Uh, 
you know, and it's, it, with a mushroom sauce or something like that. And so they bring this thing, and I swear to you, uh, let me uh, let me go to my camera here. It, I, I, well, am I right? Was it about that size? The thickness. No, not the thickness. It was that size on the plate. Yeah, it was about that size. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I mean, to me, that's you know, that's not uh, that's not good. Well, I gave you a lamb chop. Well, double yeah, lamb yeah, chop. Yeah, you gave me a double lamb chop. I actually had two, six lamb chops. But they gave you a lot of lamb chops. But this thing it was just this tiny little braised beef, and then it had no taste. Yeah. It, you know, I would. But I think you said that another time. Yeah. Oh, I ordered it last time, and I said the same thing. But I didn't remember that till I ordered it so again. So your memory's going. But I got the tripe again. And there. you loved it. And the tripe is—it's very spicy. He kept saying, "Take a taste." No, no I trust you. <laughs> Done in kind of a almost a paste. Yeah. You know, but no, but I I loved it. And the thing that was great is it was terribly spicy. Did you hear me complain about having the trots the next day? No, because I've learned to start using, my, uh, what what do they call them, uh, 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 probiotics? Probiotics, and he started eating chicken skin again. Y yeah, and no problem. By the way, I'm wearing my shorts again, in case anybody wants to, you know, y yell and scream about putting I'm wearing my shorts, are, are too. You, are you doing your show in your underpants? I'm wearing so my like, Friday night outfit. I have it hanging on a hook in my closet, so I can just put it right on. Somebody wrote me and said... Uh, um, um, put your, you know, take your underpants off, or take, keep your underpants on, or something like that, thinking that I was wearing underpants, and I'm not wearing underpants. I'm wearing shorts, and uh, and a, and a, you know, and these are my legs. You have good looking legs. I have good looking legs. Yeah. Do I? They're getting uh, spider veins in them. Well, you know, and 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 also, I'm starting to wrinkle my hands. You know, when I lost no, weight, no crepe, crepe. Here's the thing about losing weight. Where before you said, hey, you know, I'm not too terribly wrinkly. Once you lose weight, you're terribly wrinkly. I think once you get older. And you lose weight. Even if you don't lose weight. No. Your, I, what, your skin becomes crepey. I didn't realize I had a hernia until I lost weight. <laughs> really. I mean, the losing weight uh, makes you suddenly realize a whole bunch of things about yourself. So anyway, we're not going to be here next Friday. You know that. Yay. We're going up to, uh, we're going up to Vermont. Where we are going to uh, see our friends who Adrian have, and Charlie. What lake is that? What? Champ um, Champlain. Champlain. Yeah. Champlain. 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 Lake Lake Champlain. Champlain. I was there in the winter once, and they had people out there doing ice fishing. You know, they had little huts, and they would make a little yeah. hole and fish through there. I was with my dog. My dog ran all the way out in the middle of the lake. Yeah. Still miss the kitty? Yeah, we got we get pictures. She sends pictures of the kitty here. Our, Updates. Our friend. Maybe she's trying to make us feel bad. No, 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 no. She's trying and, to make and us feel good. And they're cute kitty pictures. They too. are. The they're one under the blanket. Oh, oh my God. It's just terrible. We're, we're so silly about this. Should I roll over? Uh, uh, <laughs> what do you mean by <laughs> that exactly? Sure. Come on over here and roll over. I'm okay. Roll over. Roll over. Okay. What? What? But uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hi. This is the. Now, if this looks like the same blouse that I've been wearing for the last few Fridays. It is. It, it is the same one. I keep it on a hook. Yeah. And I'm wearing shorts. Yeah. Well, I'm we I'm wearing a new cap tonight, so. You're wearing on. U.S. Open from. Yeah, I like this one because it, it's kind of lost. It's kind of used. You know, and then the, the, the bill is kind of like this. By the way, I just turned on the uh, Skype lines in case anybody Hi. wants to call us uh, because we, we do our phone calls by Skype. If you don't know how to use it or you don't or you want to know the phone number to call, just go to gabnet.net and that will uh, automatically take you, uh, uh, give you all the information on the right hand side of the page, all the information, a tutorial, if you will. Uh, oh, here, look who's here. First one out of the, out of out the, of the box, box every night. The guy with a loud microphone. He turned it down. Huh? You can't even hear him. He turned it down. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, do I have him up? Uh, hello, Mike. Are <laughs> yes, you there? I do. Are you there, Mike? Too loud. Too oh, wait loud. a minute. That's the that's, wrong. That's the wrong. No, there that, he goes. Yes. No, that's him. He's too loud. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not that loud. Y yes, you no, are. Now he's fine. Look. Oh. Look, I got the mic. I got the mic when down. You, uh, oh. No, it is the mic is too close to your mouth. I had somebody write me and say that they, they couldn't stand listening to you. <laughs> Stop that. Yeah. 
Yeah, you got your first unfan letter. Don't worry, I've gotten enough of those in my lifetime, so don't worry about it. And he still it. gets them. But, I make sure. Yeah, but, uh, oh, hey. Oh, people are calling like crazy. Here's here. Phil. Here's Lee Press on. Here comes Phil. Well. Okay, yeah, we got Phil. We got Lee Press on. We got Mike. Hi. Oh, God. Oh, hey, God, I'm Phil. Back. Oh, that Kim, off. you're a poo head. No, well, Donnie, you're a poo poo head. <laughs> <laughs> what's this? A, what's this? He's wearing. Kim. Kim's a poo poo head. Oh, Kim's a poo poo head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kim Jong un. <laughs> Now you see your mic is his mic too is his it's tinny. It's tinny sounding. So you should really move it away from your mouth. It's too close to your mouth. Yeah, turn it down or something. It's just piercing. Mike, just go to the Gabnet store and order a new one. Yeah. Well you want to pay for it? Fine. We'll give you a ten percent discount. Uh, just, just put it on payments. Oh those headphones are you can buy a pair for twenty bucks that are Oh, as good as any microphone practically that you can use, you know, uh, except for that one that Phil's got. Yeah, well, I, I've got to send you the one I'm loaning you. I, it's been sitting here in a box, and uh, uh, I, the post office uh, told me that I can't prepay the return one, so I have to take it to UPS, and that means I need different boxes. So what? You, you can't just use I any box with UPS and stamp, put a label on it? Well, this one says USPS on it. Oh, you can't, you can't. You can't. You can't. That's no. a priority so, box. Well, you have. well, no, what you do is you just scratch out the S. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who's calling. Bree, how are you, Bree? Hey, Bree. Hello, Bree, you there? Oh, look at his hat. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Well, yeah. Hold on a second. If we're wearing oh. hats tonight, I should put one on, too. I'm yeah. wearing a hat. So, Alex, can you ask Bree about the uh, tower that burned in Dubai? The tower that burned in Dubai, the the tower that burned in Dubai. There, there was no, a tower. The, tower that burned Dubai. Uh, the tallest building, I believe, in Dubai, uh, uh, caught on fire, and um, the, the one that Tom Cruise ran down. That one. I'm not <laughs> sure. It's uh, uh, the tower, uh, the it's tower tall. building in it's Dubai. Tall. It was a massive fire. I thought that was last well, week. Well, wait a minute, Bree. Bree, do you have an answer to that question? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> First of all, it's about a block away from me, uh -huh. maybe wow. two, wow. and um, it's not the tallest uh, in that block uh, or even in that whole district. It's in the district called the Marina, mm -hmm. and um, the two years ago, it's called the Torch, so that's why I got all the, the bad press. play, because, oh, the Torch caught fire, you know. Yeah. Uh, I did, but, I did, uh, did it get completely destroyed or was just part of it? No, just the covering outside. Oh, yeah. The well, same as because the way Phil made it oh. sound, the whole thing burned down, and you oh, know, oh. people are people are living there. I the day it happened, I ate in a restaurant at night. Now there's a building across the way called the Tiger Building that also caught fire. You don't hear, you don't read about that because it's not called the Torch. You know? Ah, yeah. okay. I I thought tons of families were evacuated and it wasn't inhabitable. You know, but that that's what I get for listening to CBS. <laughs> yeah, no. Here we um, go. <laughs> one of the local radio stations had a. They they put a, some people up in hotels, the ones that where the apartments were ruined. I mentioned to some of my friends. I said, uh, you know, I was eating restaurant below. I said, if this were the U.S., we wouldn't be eating here. If they had that kind of a fire, they would they would close it down. Uh, but we were eating in the restaurant, you know. And, the fire was upstairs. Of oh, the same building. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> How many stories was that building? Is it uh, I don't. I don't know exactly, but the, the tallest one in that area is called Twenty Three Marina. They have a plaque out front that says uh, "largest residential building in the world." But I looked it up online. I think they're number three now. But uh, Tokyo and New York have some tall ones. So they're building two more tall ones next to that. You know what we? You know what they're doing to... here. We have they're these building these tall pencil buildings. Yes, that that wealthy people buy two, three, they're four talking floors. Talking to the microphone because it's all the way over there, um, mm -hmm. and then they could get all the views of New York, and they're really eyesores. And I told really you disgusting. that I kind of don't think it is an eyesore. They are. I kind of think if in a city that likes to build interesting buildings, it's not an interesting building. It's an interesting no, it's building. Not. 
Well, it doesn't block our view. It will. It will eventually. <laughs> building them all over the place. Uh, 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 so anyway, so so it didn't burn down. It was just some stuff on the outside of it. And, yeah. Yeah. Because and Phil, that's the second time for that building. Ah. Uh, that's, that's what I thought. It was the second yeah. time. Yeah. Well, the news certainly made it sound uh, uh, much bigger, than, uh, not only bigger, but uh, much more of a fire than uh, than you're describing. Yeah. So, you know, what are you going to do with uh, the news? Well, I have a picture of it. I, I took a picture of it. I can show you. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, you don't have a lot of light in there, but if you put it about where your face is, we'll probably be able yeah. to see it. You know. Uh, I have to find it. But, yeah, it, uh, here it is. Okay, so this is it. The the damage on oh there you the, go oh wow yeah the damage oh, wow. there was from two years ago and the damage there was from you know last week or whatever oh so there's a top uh, third or uh, that was damaged yeah, yeah. so is anybody I, investing I eat down oh okay I don't have the on the bottom there's a really great diner they uh, they have uh, mainly Syrian and Lebanese and Egyptian. Oh, it's excellent and really good value. Yeah, but my question is, are they holding an investigation to find out why fires have a tendency to break out in this building? It's the cladding. It happens uh, all the time. Buildings just burst into flames. Natural causes. <laughs> I have, I have, a theory. <laughs> yeah. Magic. I have a theory. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is just a theory. Okay. But a lot of people like to dry their clothes out on their balconies, and I've also noticed a now, lot of in people Dubai. Like to I would Im I would imagine in Dubai, if you put your clothes out uh, to dry, they'd be drying about fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe an hour or two. Yeah. Depends on if you're in the sun. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it so, depends on the. So you think that you, you think that's what's causing it? How do clothes turn into fire? I think fire? yeah, people throw their cigarettes. That's ah. in the Tiger Building. They think that's what happened. And I've had to, I go out on my balcony and I clean and I see cigarette butts. People just throw them out and they land. I'm on level two. But in my building, we don't have that covering and we don't put our clothes out. We're not really allowed to. So. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're okay. You're civilized. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is that you're wearing on your head, Lee Presson? Well, it was a, it's, a, it's a special, it's my Disneyland hat. I like it. <laughs> But is that but is that like, like a, a, moose. a Mickey Mouse hat for Halloween? Mouse, well, I'll give you a close up. Is that a it's moose? A bat ears. Bat ears. Uh. Right, I can do this so people can yeah. see it. Hold uh, hold it up again. Hold it up again. Thank da, da, da. you. Da, da. Yeah. There we go. And it's got my name on it, of course, because oh, nice. you know Disneyland. Lee, yeah. That's yeah. nice. But the uh, special special limited edition mouse ears from about ten years ago. Nice. But see, people, if you're listening to us, if you're listening, to, if you're listening to us right now, and uh, you you didn't get to see that, if you want to see what you're, oh boy, you want to see what you're missing. <laughs> oh, oh wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Phil put yeah, on but, his um, uh, make, make America, America great, great again hat, and uh, <laughs> uh, Bree put on his Paris, Paris hat, hat, which Paris. Uh, that's very cool. Uh, I just went through Paris. Oh really? And and uh, I love Paris. In the springtime, mm -hmm. I love Paris Sorry, in the fall. I'm checking, I have to check outside because I'm waiting for uh, Rody to deliver my delayed baggage from Delta. Ah, Delta. <laughs> from yeah. Delta, but then it'll get there in about at one forty-five a.m. Now, so, it's one. Four, what time is it there? Uh, no, I'm I'm in Pittsburgh now. Oh, you're in oh. Pittsburgh. Oh, you're not in Dubai. Oh, oh well, screw you well, then. We <laughs> thought we were getting a call from Dubai, and that was really cool. Yeah, so goodbye, Dubai. <laughs> and with that, I'm saying good night. Uh, good night. Good night. Yeah. I'm wearing clothes. Isn't that disgusting? Two old people kissing. kissing it really, it is. really is. It's, it's <laughs> vile. It's just vile. Oh, it's bye. Uh, anyway. Bye, uh, bye dear. Bye. Okay. Goodbye. We'll see you later. These are my receipts. <laughs> Your receipts? receipts? Will miss you. Now, Now, when are you going back to Dubai? Um, in about a week and a half. Oh, roughly. I see. Okay, so uh, you know, but you know what's weird is I don't know if anybody's had this experience. I, they gave me a delayed file ref, delayed baggage file reference number. I go online, try to put it in. System doesn't have it. Well, so, we get used to wearing the same underpants for the next two and a half weeks. Now, uh, the last time we talked with Bree, he was concerned about bringing his electronic things on board. Uh, his flight 
uh, did you find coming from Dubai that you had issues with your computers and batteries and things like no. that? No, okay. there's no problem. Uh, because I took Air France to Paris mm -hmm. and then Delta from Paris to Pittsburgh. So those are Western airlines. And also they're relaxing that now. Yeah. Uh, it's not such a big deal. Um, on, on most of the flights, it's okay now. I, I flew Delta on Wednesday, and I noticed that the crew was extremely friendly, uh, you know, because lately on Delta, uh, Delta had, was one of them, they had a big fight that broke out between uh, the flight attendants and uh, some passengers. And they've also yeah. had a, a couple of other issues. I think United did too, but uh, Delta was one of the parties to this thing. And uh, they were very, very, you almost thought you were on Southwest. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. Well, uh, you, you know, I'm going to try. Just got a, uh, Next week, I'm going to have to get through, right. uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do they call it? TSA. Uh, TSA hey, uh, with this thing, which is my. Uh, oh, that's fine. Uh, that will be okay? Because yeah. it's a camera is what it is. Oh, very nice. Well, wait a minute. Wait till you see what happens with it. Hold on. There we go. See? <laughs> yeah, that's it's, good. It it's, it's a it. stabilizer. And so I can, you know, I can just... I, I was watching a Game of Thrones uh, video on how they did the latest battle, and they had, like, dune buggies and pickup trucks, and they had yeah. those things on them. Uh -huh. uh, oh, is they, that uh, the uh, next generation uh, shoe bomb? Oh, that's yeah. coming at 3.15 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be waiting up for this. Okay, well, we'll try and keep you occupied. Uh, well, I have a question. Yes. Uh, has anybody else done this delayed bag? So I won't have any trouble with this thing at all? It's just a no. camera. It's a camera with a, you know, stabilizer on it. Yeah, so. That's nothing. Yeah. Might have so they, wait, they said they, the, they, they, said the they used... Like they said they used... at the moment only. They said they used GoPros to shoot Game of Thrones? No, I don't think so. No. Well, what you were saying there was something about them. They were using it's, something like what I had here. Yeah, it looks it looks like that, but it's much bigger, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah professional yeah, and yeah. costly. But anyway, you wanted to ask a question. Go ahead. Okay, so the I had delayed bag, which I have in travel insurance. So I kept the receipts. I had to buy a lot of stuff. I mean, I needed yeah. shirts and yeah. socks and things, and I got you know pretty good deals on things. So I didn't take them to the cleaners. Um, so Delta says I can spend about fifty dollars per day, but my Travel insurance is $250 for delayed bag. So I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I should just... Has it, does anybody have experience with this? I guess well, wait, a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Your insurance, what, will pay you money for the for the bags not being delivered? or? Yeah, I have insurance if there's delayed baggage. Uh, I get 250 US, up to $250 US dollars to cover, you know, what expenses I would have. Yeah. You know. Well, I've had yeah, a but, delayed bag... Uh, at, uh, well, I think it was a uh, continental flight and uh, what happened was uh, four hours later somebody was at my front door with the bag and, and they brought it it was midnight that they dropped it off but uh, they came to my house they dropped it off yeah but you know what's terrible about this whole thing is it really fucks up your vacation if like it's a couple of days or they can't find it immediately or it wound yeah. up going to Guam you know yeah. uh, well, this, you know yeah, this it messed it up because you know I waited there, the whole time. You sit there and wait. I was the I was literally the first person off the plane. I was like right up front, and uh, I, I waited. It's funny because like I'm the first one there at the yeah, luggage. Yeah. I'm waiting, waiting, yeah. waiting. You know, you and, wait, uh, about, uh, when there are two when the two other people left there, you start getting this really sinking feeling. Like yeah. this happened when I went to Lillehammer. And uh, we're, we're all sitting there, you know, we're the first ones there, and the thing keeps going around and around. People grab their bags, and finally, uh, the, the two of us, my, my uh, newswoman and I, are looking at each other going, where's the fucking bag? <laughs> and, yeah. and because our bag didn't show up, you know what, the, what, the, uh, what they did to us in uh, Nor uh, Norway? Uh. They gave us a full body search. Uh -huh. I mean, a full well, body you were search. Baseless. They thought that that yeah. was a yeah. Uh, yeah. an indication of uh, so, someone that. So by the uh, also, uh, if you get a one-way ticket. The, uh, no, I had two uh, two-way ticket. Yeah, but that's another but, but, uh, indication. And, that and, and I started yelling and screaming. You know, so they were about ready to like arrest me. I mean, it was it was terrible. 
And I, were you I, that upset? I was very upset by it. I was very upset not so much by the fact that my bag didn't show up because I knew that eventually they'd get it to me, mm-hmm. right? But that uh, they felt that I was some kind of spy or whatever or some kind of terrorist, and they had to huh. take me into another room, make me drop tr- my tr- my pants, pat me down, and stick their finger up my ass. No. Did yes. they do that? Did yes. they give you a cavity search? Yes. Did you like it? It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Phil, you never had to file a claim? Uh, no. Um, they uh, they just showed up at my door four hours later and, okay. uh, and uh, you know, said, here's your bag. Well, look, I, I had to buy clothing and because uh, I was underway for 24 hours. Mm. And, Are you sure uh, you didn't have to do buy clothing? <laughs> no, he, so he was getting a little ripe. <laughs> so I don't know. So so I'm not sure if I'm filing with the airline or with my travel insurance. I I know I can't double file. Yeah, but if they get uh, it, when, when did you land? You landed a few hours ago, right? No, 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 no. Oh, uh, I landed on um, oh gosh, <laughs> what's today? This is Friday night. Yeah. Uh, I so I left Dubai. Wednesday night, and I arrived in Pittsburgh on Thursday evening. But you went through Paris, right? Did it you was have a, a nine-hour layover? Oh. Well, that's nice. Yeah, so I went. I went and saw some of the. I went and saw some of the museums. So you've I been here. You've been here how many days now? Hmm. You've been here how many days? I think he's been here two. Yeah, so two. you 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 know you. You must be getting pretty ripe. Yeah. Well, you know, I had to go and get a charge. My uh, laptop charger is in the luggage. But I knew I wanted to call in tonight, so I went, you know, down to the store and I bought one. I'm going to claim that for reimbursement because yep. I wanted I wanted to use my laptop and they it was in the luggage, which they had delayed. So I think that's a legitimate Oh, that's a mighty, very, very legitimate claim. I'd go with the 250 and uh, see if you can get an upgrade or something out of Delta. You know, so, uh, tell them, hey, look, you know, uh, why don't you, you know, give me an upgrade or a free ticket or, or, or something like that. Are, are, are Delta yeah, flights, an upgrade uh, somebody was, economy. I heard a complaint uh, no, recently. No, no, you can get, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I heard a, I heard a complaint about Delta recently that they're ter- they're, the seats are getting smaller and smaller. I was able to for thirty bucks to that uh, flight I took uh, this week. Yeah. I was uh, 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 where did I go? Salt Lake City. Yeah. Uh, for thirty bucks, uh, they have a section of the plane just behind first class that's called wide uh, uh, premium seats. Premium so, economy. Yeah. So uh, it's still three seats across, but they were much bigger, and you had a lot more leg room. It wasn't yeah. as much as first, but it was damn close. Yeah. Actually, I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised uh, on the flight when the people reclined. It didn't affect me really at all, except that the uh, the video screen didn't angle. No, oh, you God. take Emirates or Singapore, you can angle it as yeah. they move. Were you in business? Uh, uh, were you in business class or no? Just economy. Oh, it was really nice. That, but the only thing was they only had, uh, I think, one restroom in the back and one in the front of economy. That's it. Two. Restrooms for the whole thing there. That was a little strange because, like on Emirates or Singapore, you're going to have a lot more. Yeah. Well, it's probably a bigger plane. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Well, the flight we're taking on on Friday is a about a 45 minute flight, maybe an hour flight, and it's probably mm. going to take us two hours that we have to get there. You know, if between uh, taking a cab out there and 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 getting there early enough to get on the plane. Uh, I just I, I just yearn for the days where you wound up at the airport and just walked to the plane and just you know there was nothing well, impeding your progress. Like Rob, I have one of those global entry things. You pay a hundred bucks or something uh, close yeah. to that, and it's good for five years. They check you out, they take your fingerprint, they ask you if uh, you're a terrorist, and you say no. And then with this, I get TSA pre on every flight. Although coming back from Salt Lake. <clears throat> Well, you Filled told it, us. You told us that you had trouble uh, there. Yeah. But uh, I, th- I think Mar- I think Marjorie has yeah. that, if I'm not mistaken. But I just don't. I don't get it because I'm not. I don't travel that much. 
you know. Uh, and I like being hassled by the TSA. I think it's fun, <laughs> you know. I and, and, I'm, and I'm praying for one of those cavity searches again. So, you know, it's, uh, uh, yeah. By the way, we could use for some more callers. We're, we've had, like, full houses almost every night, if not more than that. We've had, like, the Royal Flush. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, the, and and tonight it's like it looks like a Beatles. Al- it looks like the Let It Be album cover. <laughs> so, Phil, last question on this. I don't want to. I don't want to beat it, but I need your expertise here. So, how how am I going to communicate with them uh, to tell them? Because they, it seems like they hinder oh, customers well, from actually communicating with them. Uh, they have a customer service number. And uh, yeah, good, I would just uh, good luck, see good what luck the 800 with, number is. Good luck with that right. one. I, you, uh, know, no, you, can, you can get through. Do you know there are companies today that there's no way you can talk to them? Do you know that if you yes. try, try to yeah, just absolutely. try to communicate the, the even majority of them it, communicate even by uh, some form of written whatever. Try Skype. and do that with Skype. You cannot find a phone number. Yeah. You can't yeah. find an email address. You can't yeah. find uh, just yeah, a, you know. A, you mentioned this. Huh? You've, you've mentioned this a few times. Yeah. I mean, uh, and the same thing is true of all of Microsoft now. You know, I mean. Uh, yeah. But Alex, I was just thinking about this today. You know, the, in the new economy, the, the companies that communicate, that, that is so important. It's key. I, I have a, um, I have a, this Yoda phone that I use. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Okay, it has two screens, but there, this is an app called No Roaming. Okay? Yeah. And so I put this sticker on my SIM, and when I travel around, like when I landed in Paris, I hit that button, and I say, eight bucks, give me, I want unlimited data for the day. Now, when I first did that, uh, I, I wasn't seeing mobile data. I don't know why I couldn't see it. I wrote to them through their app. I had an immediate reply. It was within one minute. Oh really? I was like, it's now this, that's it's good. That, it's this. That's I couldn't good. believe it. Yeah. So I am such a fan of, you know, and and I have another one. I use. No, wait a minute. What does that What does that do if you if you if you land somewhere and you suddenly want it, you want to not have to pay for roaming or something? It'll, that's right. And how long will it let you roam for? You can every country. You, what you do is I'll show you. You hit the button, and yeah. then it tells you how much you have, and it tells you what the rates are. So. You go there and you can just say available data packages, and it will tell you yeah. how much for you know how many days. Unlimited three days, uh, seven days, fifty-five dollars. That's not bad compared to what normally you have to pay. You know for those things for. Yeah. Uh, if you if you go through uh, uh, AT and T and you buy their little extra plan, you only get a limited amount of bandwidth. That you can use. Some, uh, yeah. I can't remember how much it is, but it's 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 less than a gigabyte, or maybe it's a little more than a gigabyte. The roaming charges can be horrendous. I went to Turks and Caicos, yeah, and uh, I didn't make any calls. I didn't do anything, but I guess my phone was downloading some data or something, oh, wow. and uh, I got charged 117 bucks, and uh, you know. I complained about it. I don't remember if they did anything. I, I, or not. I turn off roaming. You should use no roaming. Yeah, I turn off uh, roaming. And uh, when I was in China, I, I didn't use the phone for roaming, I, I, except on one or two occasions I wanted to use it, and I had already paid the money to, to AT&T for the roaming charges. Uh, but, you know, I didn't, want to use, I didn't want to watch a movie on uh, Netflix, you know, because that would eat it all up. Um, so I, uh, I, but I, I, w- I would always uh, use Wi-Fi wherever I could, you know. And there was How long wi- were you there? Hmm? What was your total time in China? Uh, two weeks. Uh, okay. Yeah, you. I mean, I'm here two weeks, and I got a one month deal from you know T-Mobile, and then I keep it pay as you go for three dollars a month. I keep it active. Yeah. But like most countries, you can get they they have so many different uh, local SIMs and plans. I ha- I should take a picture. I have probably over two or three hundred SIM cards <laughs> just from the different places I've been. Yeah. But. Uh, Thailand and Philippines have excellent rates. I mean, really cheap. Uh, you know, you can get a full month there, unlimited everything for yeah. like twenty bucks. Wow. Do you get a happy ending with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. One of them is called Happy One Two Three in Thailand. <laughs> happy One Two Three. Oh boy. 
Anyway, so I, uh, 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 oh, wait a minute, who's calling? Oh, Marcella, I was wondering if we were going to hear from her again. Hey, Marcella, let's see what her, uh, what her, um, screen looks like. Re chroma key. Re chroma key looks like. Are you there, Marcella? Marcella? Uh, all I'm getting is a white uh, uh, phone here, which means that she's not on the line. So I'll remove the person from the group and see if she can call us back and if she has a problem. Alex, we'll call have her. you been to Paris uh, recently? No, I haven't been to Paris in, gee, quite a Do you a like lot. macaroons? Uh, uh, well, I'm on a, I did this, I'm on this diet. Ah, okay. You know, I mean, I, I'm not really on a diet any longer, but I, I, I would go the other way, the anti-diet, if I started eating macaroons. And if I take in that <laughs> okay. kind of sugar, all I want is another macaroon, you know? Yeah. Hey, if you believe the uh, thank you. Right -wing news media, they'll have you uh, uh, believe that there are homeless all over the uh, Muslim homeless all over the streets of Paris, that they're defecating in the streets, that they're uh, raping people. No, in the those streets. are just the French. <laughs> I understand, but what's what's it? Uh, you know, I'm I'm sure that this has got to be overblown. But what is uh, what is it like there now? But uh, I definitely felt the security presence. In fact, uh, coming back from the city to the airport, uh, they wouldn't let me go down one uh, area. It was 2E, Terminal 2E. So I had to go down 2F and G. It was really strange. I had to walk down like two corridors, and I had to go outside through a rental car place and then into the other. It seemed a lot more risky what I was doing. Uh, I, I went up this escalator. And I'm mm -hmm. telling you, there was no marks. There was nothing marked at all. And I was just going up the escalator, and this guy started coming towards me with a gun. And, yeah, this uh, was a, a gendarme or a gendarme. Yeah, or? yeah. He, I mean, you couldn't really tell. He was kind of like an undercover security dude. I just assumed that he, you know, he didn't look raving mad, and so I, I assumed he was part of security. And he just said, "No, no, you know, you can go the other way." And um, I was like, "Okay, you know." <laughs> People were coming up the escalator, and I was like, no, he doesn't want us to go up there. And they're like, why? Why? And I said, well, he's got a gun. <laughs> yeah. so, so that's all you need to know, and we'll yeah. go this way. <laughs> In your nine-hour layover you know, along the Champs-Élysées or uh, 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 you know, uh, Rue Saint-Honoré or any of those areas. Oh, they're, God, they're, he knows how to speak French. Yeah, they're making it Better sound than he knows good. how to speak English. Wow. Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> definitely uh, yeah. an increased... Um, you know, and there, there's definitely an increased security presence. It's a security presence, yeah, not. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> that that looks like uh, you know you you tip those people, <laughs> but well, uh, when you say an increased uh, security presence, you're not seeing people defecating on the street, sleeping on the street, home, th tons of homeless. I didn't uh, see it. Uh, interesting. Here I am with the Pangeri. Ah, okay. Monday. Yeah. And, and, yeah, yeah. and how, how long was your layover? Nine hours. Nine hours. So you had time to get it, go into Paris, hang out a little bit, and then go back to the airport, right? Yeah, had a baguette, you know. Had a baguette, yeah. Got a, got a hat. You know, I get those at uh, Costco, so I... <laughs> well, the hat I like. The hat's a cool hat, you know. Yeah. As opposed to that thing that uh, looks like Elmer Fudd wore it once that Donald Trump had for Make America Great Again hat. Oh, uh, you're a poo-poo head, Kim. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. 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 By the way, uh, uh, um, we should ask Bree because he, you know, has come from Dubai. Uh, what, what's the general take on, uh, on uh, our president these days? Well, before I uh, answer that, I will tell you that I've also visited Guam. Uh, recently, so I had a. In fact, I was I had a, I was on a short list for a job offer there, and I had a friend of mine, two days ago, say, "Bet you're glad you didn't take that Guam position." You know, he was joking, uh, because you know I don't think he thinks it's a. He's a British guy. He doesn't think it was real anyway. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I still love Guam. I'd like. I'd love to go back. It was a great vacation. It's, I hear it's kind of like Hawaii, but. Uh, you know, but it's very military. tiny. It's only like thirty miles long. And yeah, it's not very big. A couple of miles wide. Yeah, so. uh, and it's uh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, there's a saying they have, and it may be uh, applicable here, and that is here today, Guam tomorrow. 
So uh, <laughs> they say half a day. Yeah. But uh, uh, so anyway, you were asking about Trump. Um, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, he's just doing yeah. such a spectacular job. I'm sure that the people in Dubai think he's great. I, I I have to tell you that I just don't think most people really care. Um, now, is that because it's Dubai? I mean, is that because it's Dubai? I mean, if I were, uh, uh, oh, say in, uh, oh, in Japan, I would be worried about this. You know, uh, yeah. people in that general area. If I lived in South Korea, I'd be worried about this. But I when, have friends in South Korea right now uh, who just went there for a conference, and yeah. um, you know, they don't. They just don't think it's well. They, you know, they're kind of used to the rhetoric from North Korea. They're a little taken aback by the rhetoric now out of Washington from, you know, what we see and hear. But, yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I just consider this part of Trump's, uh, this is part of his negotiation tactics. Um, you know, he's figuring, hey, look, everything else that was done that didn't seem to work, well, let me just try this. Yeah. You know? Well, I, I don't think that this was a wise idea, in my, in my opinion. Are you there, Tony? Tony. Yeah, can can I, you see me? Yeah, no, I can't see you. Turn on your camera. Oh, hold on. And then we will I be can... we will be able to see you. Okay, instead of those on. two Muppets. Huh? Right. I'm turning it on. I had a couple of students who oh. did uh, there, we go. there we go. Yeah. Uh but no, but what I'm saying is is that um what so they're more concerned about what Trump did and the way he dealt with the situation. Sure, because that's that kind of, you know, changed. That was a different thing, uh, you know. But um, but what did they? Uh, what did they think? Did they what think? What was their? What was their take? That it was undiplomatic, or that it was not a wise idea to in, to stir up the rhetoric and so on? Or what was their? What yeah. was their feeling about the comments? I mean, it's mixed. Obviously, uh, depends on, on, on if you're talking just the media or you're just talking, you know. The, Individuals I talk to, yeah. Uh, individuals I talk to, uh, yeah, I mean, they. It really, it depends. I mean, I've, I probably have four or five who have been to, in South Korea, and I have friends on Guam uh, mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, obviously in South Korea, they don't really, they don't really he pay much attention to what the North does. Uh, but when Trump did it, they were like. Whoa, uh, that seems a little, uh, you know. But South Korea did get the concession. They, they they say that Trump agreed that they wouldn't do anything without consulting with South Korea. That they wouldn't uh, take any action that would catch them off guard, the South Koreans off guard, or whatnot. Yeah. So a lot of people are reading it as this is Trump being Trump. This is his rhetoric. This is what he does. But it it doesn't really the policy isn't really affected. Well, but um, but the trouble the trouble with this is and I was saying this last night is that it, it just ups the rhetoric. That's all. I mean, you yeah. know, and it's like two children fighting with each other. In fact, there was a great uh, political cartoon that girlfriend showed me uh, that she saw yesterday uh, of uh, it's it's uh, Kim Jong Un and Donald Trump naked and instead of penises they've got missiles. Oh, yeah. You know, and and basically, it's my mine's bigger than yours. You know. You know, uh, can, uh, uh, Bree, uh, when when Trump went to Saudi Arabia, he was you know received in a in a very royal fashion. Uh, mm -hmm. Do the people of Dubai have oh, the same yeah. regard for uh, Trump as they did in Saudi? No, they didn't have any uh, regard. In the for UAE, yeah. Trump is very much welcomed and liked. Yes, by the the elite by the government, absolutely. And He's you know the how president they, of the United States. But you know how they treat their people. So do you really do you really put much credence in that, considering who they are? The many on that Trump estates. Trump is what? Trump estates. Trump estates. Yes. Oh, right. there Trump's golf course. Is there is, is there any Trump building in Dubai? Are oh you, yeah. I think you remember um, just after, around the election or just after, he was making the claim that uh, one of his good friends from Dubai, he had turned down a billion dollar deal or some $2 billion or something. Yeah. Uh, so he is a very good business partner in Dubai. 
and um, he's yeah he's very well liked uh, there. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, somebody but, somebody said the reason why they were so outgoing to him in Saudi Arabia was they knew he could be had if he was just uh, made to feel important. You know, the French did the same. And he'll follow you anywhere. That, that well, it was that it was a tactic that 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 they were using to get him uh, to just kind of just be acquiescent to them. So the, president France, you want. Yeah. the president of France received them in, in a similar fashion uh, as 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 the Saudis did. Uh, if you I know, remember the French, um, I, if I remember the French uh, president, the newest French president. Uh, there was a little bit of animosity between the two of them. If I remember that one, to, if I remember that one yeah. correctly, am I right, Lee? Do you remember how? how yeah, it went? that's right. There's the handshake battle, and then they act, they met one another, and Trump said, "Wow, your wife's got a right. hot body," or words. Yeah, back. yeah. So with Trump <laughs> to his wife, there was some. And then there was the handshake that lasted eight minutes. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yep. What he does is he grabs your hand and he pulls you into him. Which, you know, yeah. it's not exactly a diplomatic handshake. I won't be. I think he's going to be yeah, It's a New York handshake. No, what it, what it is is it's it, off balance. Well, what it is is it's I'm dominant over you handshake. And by the way, hello to uh, once don't every understand two weeks. I why anyone hasn't just gone along with it and fallen on top of him. Let me say hello to Jason, who's here once every two weeks because his wife lets him out. Uh but uh, how are you doing, Jason? What do you think about all this that we've been talking about? Well, you know, I, I was thinking the other day, I'm like, you know, would we really even notice a difference if Kim Jong and Donald Trump traded places? And then I saw uh, a different no. cartoon or uh, yeah, thing hair. on Facebook where, yeah, where they switched the hair on the two of them. And I thought it was funny as could be. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just trading one outrageous hairdo for another outrageous hairdo. Yeah, what is that thing that Kim Jong Un has? It, it kind of looks like uh, I don't know. It's very Devo. I like it. Who are those? That's, who are those? that's, that's what you call the North Korean hairdo look. It's the Howard. No, but wait, wasn't there a movie called House Party or something with two black guys and one of them had a haircut like that? Kid and play. Kid and play. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, but I mean, it, it, I, the, I would. I was thinking today that it would all be hilarious. This whole thing, you know, would be. Something that they could write and make into a Stanley Kubrick movie, you know, back in the day. But it isn't funny because what it does is it adds attention to the world that it doesn't need to have. Uh, well, you know, it, it all might just be a friggin' show because we know we can't do anything. You know, even we could take out North Korea in two seconds if we wanted to. Yeah. But then we have, you know, we have to deal with the fall of China, Russia. We, you know, we can't do without China. Everything we have is made in China. Well, you know, the, the question, I have a, que- I have a question. I have a question. United States and start manufacturing yeah. stuff here, then I would worry. I have a but. question for you, though, Jason. Can China live without us? I well, mean, they have the rest of the world to trade with. They do have the rest of the world. You're right. They've got India, who's their biggest trading partner. We're their bigger oh. trading partner than we yeah, are. Yeah, China and India are having that issue now. Really? Uh, I I heard on the news tonight that there are back-channel communications going on between the U.S. and Korea, right in North Korea, uh, right now. Well, that one, I heard it this morning. So apparently, you listen to the news late. No, they, they, they've always got. They say they've always had a back channel to to get, you know get in touch with. That's how we how they wound up returning that guy who was sick. I mean, they got him here and he died, but that was all done through back channel. And then China, was murdered. China straight up admitted too, though. You know, if North Korea is the the attacker, if they do something, then they're just going to stand back and let us do what we need to do. So yeah, well, they've told, know, no, they've told they've told I think they've told North Korea that if you make any aggressive move, and then the United States makes a move against you, we're not going to do anything to protect you. Exactly. So, so they'll, they'll do, be wiped off the map. Yeah. Map so so you don't have our blessing, and you don't have our good graces. If you do something wrong now, if the United States were to attack North Korea without provocation, then we'd have hell to pay with China. Yeah, you know, and I don't think they would. Well, yeah. uh, who knows? You know, the the thing I'm worried about, I'm not worried ab- about the intentions here. This is a silly little bitch fight, you know. But it's one of those things where one wrong move and somebody gets blown off the face of the map. 
You know, because yeah. because somebody accidentally said something, and somebody said something else, and somebody else said push the button, and they, and and we're off to, you know, mutual self destruction. Oh. And you're and not. They, it, but that was the thing. They say push the button. They said pass the funyuns, and oh, I heard push the button. Yeah, pass <laughs> the funyuns. Someone yes, said uh, launch. Lee. Thought he said launch. Lee, what were you going to say? I was. I am a child of the '80s. I remember quite clearly what it's like to live with the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. Well, I'm a child of the. You get uh, used to I, it. After I, a I'm while. a child of the '40s, and then into the '50s, yeah. and you know we used to have uh, air raid drills. Yeah, in, in, in our classes, you desk, you? And, and it was, du it was duck and cover, yeah, duck, and, yeah. and, and, which somebody yeah. later on yeah. proved would not protect you from an atom bomb. They said, get under your desk <laughs> yeah. and cover yeah, your yeah. head <laughs> with your well, hands. Well, yes. My father yeah. was shopped for a fallout shelter uh, during the missile crisis, uh, but the missile crisis passed before he bought one. <laughs> well, there's a guy who just uh, has a company now that's building uh, these very fancy air raid shelters. Yeah, in fact, in fact, you might want I've, to put one in your home and lend it out as a and b when you're not using it as an air raid shelter. I'm getting my basement yeah. redone, so I'm halfway there. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm you can have cabinets in my comic books. No, but they got a really nice. It's, yeah. They're really nice. They got. In fact, one of them had a a, a, a spa in it. You know, really? a, a hot tub. Oh, and I'm thinking. Well, like you know, you might time. need that water eventually, and if two people have been fucking in it, <laughs> I need my comics in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's just more water you're drinking now. This water can man. be sterilized. Yeah, I guess it can. I don't think Tony would have that problem. I mean, reading my comics in the hot tub, Alex. Yeah, yeah. Be, be reading your, your, for a while. Be be reading your comics in the, hot in the tub. water. Huh? News print. Hold it out. That's what I usually yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, uh, anyway, um, it, it's just you know I just think that it, it we we we're kind kind of being put on these tender hooks and and the only worry I have is that somebody makes a mistake and the fact is I don't think that Donald Trump is sophisticated enough not to make a mistake. And it's do you a, think Jung Un is? Well, oh, he's uh, he, he, he he's totally know. unstable because he's lived in a bubble all his life. And yeah. Alex, did he kill his family? No, he didn't kill his. He killed his uncle. His uncle. All right, that's not like the. But you know, it's one. He just, just no, one of his family. He, he killed his brother and he, uh, no, his half brother no, and his uncle. His uncle was really? it a half brother too. Wasn't his wife? Oh, too? you know who he killed? I'll get, I'll oh, get to, Jason, I see your that's hand. True. I'll go to you next after mm -hmm. I say this. Do you know who else he killed? Who had his ex girlfriend? Execute? His ex girlfriend. Mm -hmm. yeah. The singer. Yeah. Don't fuck. Even if you fuck him, you get killed. You know. <laughs> Uh, Jason, this guy. I was just going to say Russia said something very wise. I think it was today or yesterday. Something about the the wiser and the stronger of the two should be the one to you know step back first. You know, and you know, I think that makes sense. But it's very disappointing to see that the president of the United States has just lowered himself to the same level as Kim Jong Un. Well, he thinks you know? he's being he's being no nonsense with him, and he's not playing to Kim Jong Un. He's playing to his base. You know what they said this morning uh, that uh, Trump's approval rating is? What? 45 <clears throat> percent. No so way. Kind of, I, didn't, kind of I didn't see that anywhere. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, C uh -huh. Fine, that's not good. I, I like watching that in the morning. What did you see it on? CNBC. You uh, trust it now? I don't trust it. I just kind of like that one. <laughs> oh, so they're, now well, they're not fake news? That's pretty high for you. No, I, I didn't say it wasn't fake news. I just so said that would just I, be a, more of a point that America's getting really me. stupid. Uh, let me see here. Oh, here Why comes, would you have a, give him a higher approval rate? Here comes Brian. Stupid shit like this. Here comes yeah. Brian. One well, more. We people we, like war well, for some reason. Did you find the 45% approval rating? Yeah, but wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, uh, let's see here. Up, uh, 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 Trump, oh, Trump rebounds to uh, a 45 percent surge among Hispanics. Oh, oh damn! Yeah. Right. So that was your, good. Your, your, Yo no me gusto. Your, well, they didn't oh, say that this morning. Let's see here. <laughs> Trump, just, Trump <laughs> approval rating. This is according to the Hill. I don't know what the Hill is. Uh, Trump's approval rating rebounds amid North Korea tensions. Uh, you know, 
Well, I guess you can make anybody happy with that. But anyway, uh, Renee's going to hit the ceiling if she sees that. If they get it, oh, Jay, uh, we never hear from Renee anymore. I, I tell know. her to call you. I don't know. She's, I don't know what, what's happening with her. She calls Jack, but she doesn't call here. Uh, hey, yes, he, Jason. Uh, the show's on too early for her. Jason. Hey, hey, when uh, you're talking about the, the different stuff Trump's doing too, I know it was like probably last week you guys were kind of talking about. It, there's something I wanted to kind of correct Phil on. Yeah. Being from Michigan, there is not a single neighborhood in Dearborn that the police won't go in. So you, you need to drop that. I don't think there's a single neighborhood in the United States of America that the police won't go in. Detroit is probably one of the most dangerous cities in the in the country, and there is not a neighborhood that the police won't go in in Detroit or Dearborn. And also, another thing, there's just real quick before I forget, you, you know, and you're talking about. Uh, being able to bring the Christians in from these Middle Eastern countries because they're being persecuted. That's one of the biggest things that Trump is doing right now is he's sending home uh, immigrants who are come to this country who have committed a crime. And now the one of the biggest things that's going on right now in Dearborn area in Michigan mm -hmm. is kids who were brought over when they were children from the Middle East and they committed a crime when they were a kid or you know maybe early 20s, drunk driving or something stupid. They're sending these Christians, Chaldeans, back over to Iraq. If they get sent into Iraq and they land in their plane, they're going to be killed. Um, I don't know about that. I, no, I, man, what I, what I, I have read. That's what's uh, going on in my neighborhood right and now. Heard is that in Dearborn and other uh, very um, uh, neighborhoods that have uh, a high Muslim population that is using Sharia law as the law of their uh, area. And this is happening not only in Europe, but uh, they say in Dearborn as well that uh, they don't want. I'll tell you that's bullshit. It's bullshit. Well, it's bullshit, Phil. Well, this is this is this is what we're hearing. But no, what you're hearing from where? Uh, just general news that I no, come on. Desk. Provide a source. There might be like five yeah, yeah. old grandpas hey, hey, who hey, hey, you hey, know want to have Sharia law in a whole town of you know a million people. You know I. Don't think so. <laughs> well, if if it uh, makes you any happier, right now my uh, my association, my company is work, is creating something called the Leaf Program, and uh, we have a shortage of, of flooring installers well, we have a, in the United full, States. A shortage of leaves. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, what we're doing is uh, Syrian and, and Afghani refugees that come to this country. We're, we're setting up a school to train them to be flooring installers and uh, get our newest crop of flooring installers from uh, the uh, emerging refugee population. Oh, that's very good. That's mm -hmm. a fair, but there's just one problem with that plan. Trump isn't letting any of the refugees into the country. There, there's plenty that have come in, and if you bring them in and you train them, you see what happened was we're working with a council in Washington that said, Oh well, you know, can uh, can they make ten to twelve dollars an hour? And you know, we tried to explain they can make hundreds of dollars a day yeah. uh, doing this. And now everybody's interested, and uh, we have schools that we're setting up. And uh, I think the newest wave of flooring installers will will be Syrian. Oh, well, Renee, uh, Renee Americans. just wrote me and said uh, uh, <laughs> Renee needs to uh, take a shower and eat dinner. So uh, I guess she won't be with us tonight. Um, uh, but anyway, you know, this is, this is just all uh, uh, hyperbole. Uh, I but I I just I don't know. I just it, it it just he he didn't need to put things the way he put things. You know, it doesn't make things any better. Uh, all you did was make, and I think this is the worst part of it. You made Kim Jong Un feel very important. You know, and that 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 I think is the worst thing that came out of this. Brian? Well, when the stuff happens, Brian. then it ends up being just a bunch of. What? Kids tossing. If but, nothing happens in the end. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I yeah, can hear you okay. I think Brian has some uh, noise, cabin noise, wind noise. Uh, That's okay, well, who's talking? Well, the shit talking that happens and, and nothing ever happens. I mean, what happens when something really Thanks. is going on? Oh, that's Kevin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well,. You know, yes, you're right. Uh, uh, you save this kind of thing for later on, not right, right. now. You know, but who am I? I'm not a I'm not a diplomat, and I'm not a billionaire, and I didn't run for president. 
So if I didn't win for president and win, uh, then it's my fault. So anyway, uh, it, it just, it's just, you know, I just, I just expect a little more professionalism out of this guy. And oh, the latest thing that he said that this was kind of interesting. He thanked the Russians uh, for throwing our hundred and what fifty-five diplomats out. How many did we throw out? Yeah, How many he, throw he out? laid them off. For us. Yeah, he said, "I want to thank him because it, it, I've been trying to decrease our payroll." And that's well, a term. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 out of lemons. Wait, wait a minute. The, the the point is, the term payroll is something you don't talk. You don't use that talking about government jobs. You, you, you know, you do that when you're a businessman and you're running a hack business like he did for years in, in the city. You, then you have a payroll. Uh, you know, the federal uh, budget uh, is not a place that we get payrolls from. You don't. It, it, he just doesn't. He doesn't know the nomenclature of being president. It's about time they started looking at that as a payroll because when you're an employer yeah. on the 15th and the 30th, <laughs> your stomach is churning and you're trying to meet your payroll, and that's what the government needs to be thinking about. Yeah, yeah, not right, 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 more right. Money well, to, yeah, uh, let's to not th let's not think like a professional in the in the government. Let's think about like a like a guy who, who was uh, is, like, is, uh, gaming the 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 population of New York City for everything he could, and who knows how many illegal activities he was involved in with the likes of Roy Cohn and so on, you know. Uh, well, by the way, uh, Brian, Brian, uh, what I love about your driving because he's in a car driving, uh, that's his uh, mm -hmm. as his want is. Uh, I notice, I love it because you've got that. Uh, the, f the scent freshener scent thing. thing. The, the, your, uh, uh, it's a, it's a, what, a what, what is the scent? The what? No, this. Yeah. No, oh, it's just a store bought cheap ass uh, air freshener. Yeah, but does it freshen the car? Has it ceased to freshen the car? How long can that thing remain there and still give out with a scent of being in a lovely mountain forest? <laughs> I think it's going to lift its usefulness. If anything, I'd just leave it in here to identify it if I ever need to between this and the uh, 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 automatic lock beeper thing yeah. to identify the vehicle if I'm uh, parked in a parking lot and I forget where I park and there's a bunch of other Hyundai Elantras in the, uh, in the area and it's dark like this so i can't tell between my regatta blue and somebody's black uh but you can Hyundai tell by but you can tell by the air freshener yep wow or the, uh more well first and foremost by uh whether or not it talks back to me when i hit the uh lock button <laughs> but then if that ever stops working i'll have something like this the other thing i like is that uh, uh i think what we should do here's here's a good idea why don't we make one of those air fresheners that looks like a piece of poop and, and and smells like shit. I think that would be really. Every, I think it would sell like crazy. Oh, you know the the, uh, the issue, Brian. If tie it into the emoji movie. It'd be perfect. Yeah, exactly. You know, Brian, the the That's issue is true. if you if your door lock thing doesn't work and you do find the car because of the air freshener, you won't be able to get in anyway. So. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I will have to use it manually. I'll have to unlock yeah. the door manually. I won't be able to uh, use the. Uh, and then uh, that'll mean I have to replace the battery. Hopefully, it's not something, you know, me being uh, always constantly seemingly play three playing three-dimensional chess here with uh, everything that could go wrong and might likely go wrong, you know, something worse happens that, uh, you know, it needs fixed and, uh, you know. It, yeah, well, that's what you have triple A for. I, 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 yeah. By the way, um, has anybody seen these spinners? Yep. Yeah. What, what is yeah. the deal with these spinners? Fidget something, uh -oh. something. Oh yeah, my nephew's into that. You just I hold it and you spin seven it. Seven years old. Oh, oh. And that's I all. You, you were but but it has no other function, right? There's no other. It's thing. it's designed for kids who have like ADD. It's just something but to play it's just with. Become a cool thing. I thought you were talking about car hubcaps. They've got no, the they've got spinners. The ghetto. They've got these hubcaps. No, 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 no we're not talking about when, that. But this looks a lot like that. Yeah. And yeah. You hold yeah. it. In I your, saw once I played music room too when you spin them. Yeah. Well, yeah, they got ones with lights in them that blow up from the lithium yep. batteries and everything. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. They got they got them. They, they just had a, another alert go out to the schools here because my daughter's got one, of course. Yeah. And uh, the lithium batteries in the light up ones are starting to blow up on the kids and stuff. So. Now, I want to like <laughs> I want to ask Bree something. 
because Bree, yeah, uh, you, Bree, uh, you're you're back in the United States. When was the last time you were back here? Last July. Last July. Oh, okay. So you come back often. Once a year. Once a year. Okay. Uh, because you you have pretty well lived out of the United States for how many years now? I think eleven. Eleven years. Yeah. Is that a requirement that you return to the United States uh, once a year to keep your visa? Uh, yeah. No, no. No. He can't. They can't keep him out of the United States. He's a citizen. No. 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 His visa for his work visa. You don't for, need a, oh, yeah. No. You mean a work visa in Dubai? Yeah, oh. you know, to, to keep that current, I'm just wondering yeah. if he has to, no. uh, you know, leave the country once a year. Or, nope. Or, no. No. Uh, Dubai doesn't doesn't have rules that way particularly. They they, they do, uh, but I'm not in that category. Now Dubai is where they have those uh, those islands they built that look like one looks yeah. like a palm tree and the other one looks like uh, a world map. So yeah, we got a bunch of them. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and nobody really talked about those. The, that's kind of yesterday's news. The, the I guess the latest ones were building the largest uh, Ferris wheel. That's that's being built in JBR. Um, Dubai, the Expo World Expo 2020 is coming. They're building new metro lines. Um, oh, we have flying taxis. Um, you have flying. So those, that's wait, wait, those are like the latest things people are talking about. The the palm. Uh, and the the world islands and uh, those things are kind of. Are some of them yesterday. sinking? Did huh? you say there was a hyperloop uh, in Dubai? Yeah, oh yeah, the hyperloop. They broke ground on that, so that they're testing that now. Yeah. Were some of those islands sinking? Uh, no, they they don't really. I mean, if they sink, they just. Well, they built houses and stuff on them, right? Yeah, but yeah. I, I thought that there were some of them that were settling and they were starting to, you know, sink underwater. Not that I'm aware like of. Years Maybe ago, the ones that didn't sell, they might not be. <laughs> they might just be it, lighting. As soon as somebody see. buys it, so. Like the one in San Francisco that's leaning. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is there a house yeah. in San Francisco that's leaning? Yeah, there's a big. Oh complex, yeah. Uh, big. There's uh, a high rise in downtown San Francisco which is slowly sinking into the ground. <laughs> well, yes, I heard about that. It's also that. Hilton, uh, like the Tower of Pisa. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think that's, that's the um, 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 the um, insurance building. I think. No, no, it's uh, no, it's, it's a residential it. building, uh, but it's uh, very tall. Uh, so, what are they yeah, doing? It's one, are of the, they, are they, one of the world, one of the city's most expensive buildings to live in, and it's very slowly sinking. <laughs> Yeah. And now, is it tilting too? And, uh, yes. Yeah. Well, then it must yeah, be. Yeah, because they didn't sink the pillars deep enough. <laughs> and then they started blaming. So what it are they? The, what are they going to do? Are they? Are they writing the thing? I mean, are they correcting it? Uh, well, the tenants are suing. Oh, I'm yeah. sure the tenants are suing because you know probably uh, you know things are rolling down the. To one side of their apartment. So I, I remember you talked yep. about it before, Alex, because you were talking about back in the day that uh, buildings could only be so high in San Francisco. Well, in, in San Francisco, I think they couldn't build buildings higher than 20 stories. Uh, uh, at yeah. one point, the tallest building in, uh, west of the Mississippi in 1865 was the clock tower building at the ferry, uh, the ferry building uh, with the clock tower. Yeah. Yeah. 1865 yeah. was the tallest building. Was it built in 1865? I didn't realize it was that old. Yeah. Uh, but, old oh, the, yeah. but I do, yeah, I do have, uh, I've seen films of uh, Market Street in 1906, just right the day before the earthquake, and there is a shot of them traveling down Market Street, and there's the, uh, there's the uh, ferry building, they call it. You know? <laughs> uh, but uh, I, uh, uh, you know, it, um, it, it, the thing was in San Francisco, the reason they didn't let them build more than 20 stories was because of the earthquake potential and also because they didn't want the city downtown to completely obliterate the look of the hills. You know, because San Francisco uh -huh. is a beautiful town. If you look at it from the air, I mean, it's got these hills, and you know. Uh, and if you build these buildings, these gigantic buildings, it will obliterate the, the look of the, of, the, of the city. And they're doing that, that now. That changed. It's also all mud. What did you say? What, Feinstein became mayor, and that's when the skyline really started changing. Yeah. And now I hear, I mean, I don't know. I haven't been back to San Francisco in quite a while, but I'm told if I go back, I'm going to be very disappointed. Yes, you are, Alex. 
Really? Tell me about it, Lee. I I hate it there now. It's so sad. I can't. It's like a giant. It's like a giant party that you're not invited to. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic is beyond yeah. bad. The traffic is awful now. Twenty four seven, three sixty five. But, what, what, but now, where where do you live, uh, Lee? Market Street has been has been has been stripped and turned into high end coffee. But now, bar. what if what if you're a tourist? Is there a public transit to go from like the airport to downtown to do stuff downtown? No. That you know, if Alex went there as a tourist, basically, yeah. you wouldn't yeah. notice. Yes, you can take Bart. Bart. Uh, you, can you can take, take Bart, Bart but it, it but it's still it it. For instance, it doesn't go to Marin. Uh, no. As an example, and no. it doesn't come from the airport. Oh does yes, it does. No. does it? I don't remember. We have Bart from the they, airport they now. We the... don't have that much. Oh really? There, it's oh. a connector yeah. uh, that you take at the airport, and then and you can get to a Bart station. And they're also uh, extending down into the South Bay now too, on the east side. But now, Lee, where do you live? Do you live in San Francisco now? I recently moved. Uh, I'm in Oakland now, a different place in Oakland. Yeah. Uh, uh, now you always have lived in Oakland. Uh, only for the past couple of years, yeah. actually. Did you ever live that? In... I was in Marin, uh, uh, and then I was in Los Angeles. But yeah, Marin for so I can tell people where these places are. Marin is a county. Uh, go across the Golden Gate Bridge, and that's Marin County. And, yeah, yeah, that was Valley, where yeah. I was born and raised. And they, yeah. they don't have they don't have BART. They don't have any transportation in the Marin because they they voted it down. But yes, you've got the Marin, no. transit, and you've got the ferry. Yeah, but you, but, you but you don't but you don't but you don't have a, a BART that goes to like San Rafael as an example. Yes, uh, Tony. No. When I went to San Francisco, me and my brother, we walked over we walked over the bridge and I saw Welcome to Marin County. Yeah. Those houses in the hills on top that overlooked the bridge. Is that Marin County up there, Alex? Well, on the yeah, other Sausalito. Uh, on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, that's Sausalito. That's where I used oh, to live. Oh, that's Sausalito. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was part of Marin. Where I used to live. Yes, Mike. Is Oakland's, uh, I know Oakland's changed quite a bit over the years. Building-wise. Oakland you know, is, yeah. It's gentrified, you know. It's just now beginning to gentrify, but it's still got a lot of color. There are still murals. There are still, I live across the street from, you know, a nice vacant graffiti-covered building, so it's not completely gentrified. <laughs> I always thought I there are always, some uh, shitty neighborhoods. What do you want? Good old 98th Avenue, right? Well, I always, I always thought of uh, of Oakland and that area there as being the bland Bay Area. You know, I never found it very ex anything very exciting about it or significant in its architecture. It was more industrial. Yeah, because you come from San Francisco, which is you know quaint <clears throat> old townhouses and. Uh, you know things built on a hill and so on. In fact, I was I was born on one of the steepest hills in San Francisco on Filbert Street, and that's mm -hmm. why I always to this day walk on a slant. You know, <laughs> um, but uh, uh, th and then you go over to the East Bay and it's just flat and it's kind of I, I hate to put it down, Lee, but it's boring over there. Well, it does it's, have yeah. its gems of Vermont. You know, now, you San Francisco has become boring. Oakland's become a lot more interesting because all the artistic types who were forced out of oh, okay. San Francisco all right. have relocated in Oakland. There's a lot of lofts. Because uh, uh, a lot of rent is too expensive to live in San Francisco anyway. It's exactly. expensive to live in Oakland. I hear it's more uh, expensive than rent. I, I hear it's slight, slightly less expensive here than in San Francisco. I hear it's more expensive than New York City. It may be. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, San Francisco. No, no, San Francisco. No, if you live in Brooklyn, isn't it cheaper? Well, Brooklyn. San Francisco is now the most expensive place to live in the country. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because uh, Brooklyn is very expensive now. Brooklyn, which used to be, used to move to Brooklyn because it was cheap, right? Right. And no more. No My more. mother moved from Brooklyn, too. Now where she used to live, Alex? Yeah. Now it's, like, super expensive. But that was, like, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. I thought ago. the real yes. cheap place well, to live was Queens. I went over there uh, the other day with uh, with Albert. Uh, we went to have lunch, and he I met him in Queens, and he drove me over to Brooklyn uh, to show me this area where they, you know, it was kind of, it's kind of like, uh, he said, to begin with, people are going to stare at you. And I said, why? He says, because you're old. Uh <laughs> And it's like all young people when they've got all these espresso houses and, you know, coffee shops and, you know, and uh, but I had some good food there. 
but he wanted to show it to me and it was it was interesting you know but he said if you thought about you know maybe it's cheaper to live in brooklyn and you moved here um you're gonna pay here what you paid for you know a place in uh, in you know in in new york city he says i don't think you itself. can find a cheaper place to live right now uh, you know something i i i told girlfriend oh, i said if the day ever comes that we're pushed out of this apartment hey, where would you come? And, we, and, we, and we have to go find another apartment we're probably going to have to move out of New York City because it's just too expensive. You know, and on a fixed income that we're on now, that's not, you know, in the cards. Well, uh, welcome to Croton on Hudson. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, yeah. you know, I figure at the rate that this, this court case is going with us, uh, it'll be another five years before anything is decided on it. And by then, we'll probably be dead. Yes, uh, Mike. Oh, and also, Berkeley's the same price as Oakland. Am I correct? Uh, the rentals in Berkeley, are still, they're still uh, price, uh, what, it's not price control, what, what's it called? Um, rent control. Uh, I, bet so we're, I bet we're losing people with this discussion because they could give a, it couldn't give a shit about San Francisco and its rents yeah. and, its, and so on. But th this is happening all over the United States, too. I'm sure uh, where you are, Jason, that the cost of apartments has gone up precipitously. Am I right or wrong? Uh, I hear, like... Midtown Detroit is supposed to be really happening, and I hear people say it's like two thousand dollars, you know, a month for an apartment. But I've done jobs like in, in the same area where they're lower income housing, and they seem like nice apartments for like seven hundred bucks. You know, and it's not just a studio; be a one bedroom, and you know, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to feel unsafe living in some of these. Well, right here on one hundred seventeenth Street, I wish I were black and poor. They built a bunch of houses. No, I'm serious. They built townhouses. And what they did was they built these, uh, uh, there's a basement apartment, and then there's uh, two, uh, two or three levels going up as a townhouse. And they're really quite nice. And what they did is they made them affordable enough for these people to buy. And what you would also do is the basement apartment was a separate apartment from any other apartment in the, in the, in the, in the townhouse. So you could rent that out. That would pay for the for the for the uh, loan. Okay, like Tony's place. You do it with your VA loan. You know, you yeah, you've yeah, got a, I mean, a low interest it, guaranteed it, no, uh, loan. No, but what I'm saying is, if I had been around to buy one of those, I think that would would have been a great buy because they're they're nice and they you know when you and you've got this apartment in the basement that that is you know wow. you can rent out and pay your mortgage with. Wow, it's a good, great idea. You know, but they did it for basically low-income people, and in this neighborhood, they were mostly black people. And in those days, uh, no white people were going to buy a house there. You know, now they'd probably all be clamoring to buy them because you're on Social Security. You're not considered, uh, you know, lower income. And uh, my wife, with the V no, loan, you're guaranteed. It, it, a my wife is making a, a decent, very decent wage. Divorce her. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I could do that. You know, uh, but uh, uh, I noticed that my union, my union had a, has a deal where there's these apartments out in Brooklyn or something they just built, and uh, if you make under a, if your family makes under one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you can apply. Uh, it's a it's drawing for these apartments, but you can. Was apply it the for Actors the, Home for the Aged? No, it isn't the Actors Home for the Aged. <laughs> 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 I think I think Brian is home. Are you home, Brian? Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to uh, oh. go inside, so I'll see you on the other side. Okay, he'll see us on the other side. But was it after always... 75? What? There was an after 75. Yeah. Uh, after after. Oh, a... after. A... Okay. Well, after I... 75. Yeah. Um, it, uh, no, we use uh, our union. Oh. We all use after shave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, we're, actually, we're not just after anymore. We're sag after it. Uh, yeah, my, my balls sag after yeah, it. Like, <laughs> long run. Yeah. No, I'm now also a member of the Screen Actors Guild by association. So that's why I get all the screeners every year. And I, you know, get to vote in the SAG Awards. And every year when I vote, I vote for the people who don't win. So it's uh, it's fun to do. Uh, Bree also uh, has a T-shirt on. That's Captain America, right? Yes. See, there we go. 
Yeah. It's on sale at the store. Yeah. I'm doing my uh, expenses that I, things I had to buy because I didn't have my luggage. And <laughs> I have to add it up. Apple, iPhone. No, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, a razor, you know, toothpaste, toothbrush, shirt, yeah. boxers, you know. Things like that. Well, isn't it, it can't, it, isn't there some way they can reimburse you for the inconvenience? That's what I uh, suggested that he Look talk to him about Look a free here, ticket folks. for an upgrade. Look who's just joined us. Well, at, at <laughs> <laughs> I wish people you were watching this. I wish you were looking at us on uh, on uh, Facebook Live. Because th this is a sight to behold. Let me put this full screen here so that you can see that. Do that again. Do that again. Yeah, Just once again. Cousin it. There we go. Look at that. There it, we go. It's cousin. It's cousin it. it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Here, hold on. I'll do my cousin it. it yeah. There well. you go. There you go. It's like Joe Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. <laughs> let me get everybody back to where they were. Uh, Boy, uh, that, that, that was uh, certainly a, a, a fright to behold, uh, Renee. Actually, when her hair was like that, I was expecting her to say, I'm Rick James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a lot of curl to it, don't it? <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, I need the shiny teeth, right? Yeah, we haven't talked to you this week, Renee, mm -hmm. so, uh, you know, we should catch up on what you think about everything. <laughs> Now, I mean, I've been listening to the whole thing, and, and I, I completely agree. We've got – if if I were to talk to Kim Jong-un, I would say, here is your chance to call over to Macron and call over to Angela Merkel and ask them their opinion and then come back and make Donald Trump look like the asshole that he is. Because all Kim Jong-un has to do is step up as a leader. And the moment he steps into that position, Donald Trump sinks into the position he was in. Yeah. Never. But but it'll never happen. Because, you know, yeah. you, look, I mean, <laughs> let's face it. When we're dealing with Kim Jong-un, we're also dealing with a person who is just as unstable as Donald Trump. They're, they're too similar. Huh? They're yeah. too similar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Picture two uh, first graders uh, getting into a, a shoving match on the playground, yeah, and now yeah. imagine they both have nuclear weapons. Oh, and I think they probably, uh, you know, they. Uh, I think the reason why Donald Trump and J uh, Kim Jong Un uh, uh, don't get along is it's like two women who showed up at the same party wearing the same dress. You know, funny, imagine it. Huh? I mean, <laughs> these, are the two, uh, these are the two. These are two people having yeah, a, a pissing match. You know, an international <laughs> pissing full house. Match. Yeah, I know we have a full oh, house, and John then we'll have a. Step up. Step we'll have up. we'll have a royal flush the minute Ke Kevin calls us. Uh, I should have a flushing <laughs> sound. Do you have a toilet flushing sound there, uh, uh, Phil? Yeah, I do. Uh, let me uh, uh, give me a second. Uh, no, but you could always play that when we have a royal flush, as we call it. Hey, but does that toilet flushing sound have a bidet sound to it too? Yeah, uh, um, um, uh, Renee, do do us a favor. Uh, uh, move your camera just a little bit so we can see more of your head. Yeah, because I had somebody write me and complain that nobody knows how to frame themselves. And today, well, Tony, hey. Tony, you could frame yourself a little better. You know, or sit I'm up, on my laptop. sit up straight. You know, uh, well, it's easier. Like to do, it's easier to do with a laptop because all you have to do is move the thing. I think it's still there. doing it. Let me stop it. <laughs> What's doing? Oh, the toilet sound. Oh, what did you do? Did you actually have a toilet there? You were flushing. He backed it up. <laughs> oh, let me see here. Here, here comes the Brian. Pleasure. There we go. There's Brian. Okay, oh, and up. and now we now we have a royal flush, ladies and gentlemen. But you don't have the sound effect, right, Phil? Yeah, I did. I, I just played it. Uh, I, Why do you have to go into push. another room to play it? Uh, because I, I I don't have my um, uh, my iPad sitting here, which has a remote thing to play the sound effect. So the laptop is sitting uh, on top of my safe, and it just communicates. But So I had to go over to the laptop okay. to play it. Well, we have now a royal flush, which means we have, uh, uh, what, 10 people plus me, which makes 11 people, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I think that that's uh, it's as it should be. It's wonderful. Because we started out tonight with four people. and uh, So anyway, anyway. So, um, uh, so you, you think the world, you think uh, 
we're 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 safe. Are any of you really worried about? <laughs> <laughs> and Renee's well, uh, wearing her. No dog. more than I was back in the eighties. Well, I know what I was going to say earlier, Phil. Before oh, I, my yeah. mind went sideways, was when I was a kid. We had all these. We had this great fear of the atomic bomb. What is that? Uh -huh. Twenty-one dollars and forty-two cents. He, he's, he's been adding up how much money that they need to re give him back, and that's that sounds like a good number, you know. Well, so it's you're not fifty dollars a day. What? For two days, hundred dollars. Yeah. So I'm going to ask them. If they don't, I can I can, uh, you know, go to my insurance company back in Dubai to get it. <laughs> but uh, oh. oh yeah, we'll see if they, they give it to well, me here. I just go buy a couple of shirts and uh, some more underwear and so forth. As long as it's going to be paid for by the two fifty, you're you know you're a hundred dollars short of uh, of a wardrobe. Yeah. By well, the way, the, the, yeah. the luggage will be delivered within three. Uh, sorry, within six hours. Apparently, six or seven hours. So, and all the stores are pretty much closing now. So. Yeah. Oh, and if the luggage is damaged. That's, that's uh, yeah, oh, that's, that's a different that's, one. And then you really got baggage one. process. Well, uh, l let's see here. For all those people who are watching us on uh, Facebook Live, you can see that uh, Jack is holding up a sign saying "Make America Smart Again." This is the official intersection bumper sticker. We give away one of these each week on a Thursday night. That's, to whoever wait a minute, has, wait a minute. And that's a reason to listen. That's a must listen contest. Oh, and and, uh, yeah. and and Mike has got Mike has got the original ones we were sending out. Yeah, but I was cheap this time. You know, it saved me a buck a, a sticker. Yeah, I mean, but, you're actually uh, spending money on your program. Hell yes! You know, all this get that you know all this get that money you pay me, man. I got to do something with it. I, I love I love looking at uh, Renee because not only do we not see her face, we just see that hat. <laughs> See, the reason I can spend money on the show, Alex, is uh, I heard you talking about rental properties and homes in New York and San Francisco. And uh, uh, when we paid off our house a couple of years back, our, uh, our house payment had been uh, $915 a month for a three-bedroom home uh, with a garage, with a yard. Screw you very much, you people who live in civilized areas. Well, you know, I wouldn't mind living in the country. I would love to yeah, live in like the country. I would like the country myself. I would love to How go. much is your air conditioning <laughs> bill, Jack? How much is my air conditioning bill? It's the cost of a Porsche. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, that, let's see. That's how I rate how much you pay for things. Is yeah. If it's close to $900, $800 or $900 a month, I just look at it and say, oh, no, uh -uh, I'd rather have the Porsche. I'm sorry. Uh, this month, must have the little sorry. Porsche. Yeah, uh, Jack, uh, your 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 circle is going around, and we don't have a picture on you. Turn your camera. Oh, hey, let me do that. Turn your camera uh -huh. off and turn it back on again. Let's see what happens. There we go. Yeah. That's because God punishes for you making fun of the Trump saying. <laughs> well, I should hope so. I mean, you know, uh, uh, I'm punishing him for making fun of me, uh, but uh, somebody asked, "What was my electric bill last month?" Yes. 300 bucks running the AC all the time. My really? electric that bill here bad. last month was over 300 was... and we weren't running the AC all the time. Mm -hmm. I think we were closer to $600 a month. Yours is 600 a month? No, I thought Jack and Amy's, or maybe it was Scott's, but it was closer to $600 you know a month. Where you've got, where you've got money, weather, money, that money. unrelenting... <laughs> I don't think they charge as much for electricity. Or if you now, you have central air conditioning, don't you, Jack? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what we've got here are uh, uh, you're frozen, by the way, Jack. It's, you got some well, bandwidth it's, problems. It's, it's so cold here. <laughs> no, yeah. no. But the thing is that the um, um, what was I going to say? Uh, uh, that, it, it, that no, that it's so unrelentingly hot there that maybe the the, the air conditioning with the central air conditioning is going to save you money over the kind that we have, which you stick in the wall, you mm -hmm. know. And then yeah. here, if well, I were to turn on two air conditioners at the same time, I blow the fuse, you know. Well, also uh, what we did uh, a few years back is we really spent a lot of money on insulation, 
Yeah. Good and, soul. And uh, every night, if you notice, I wear a jacket or a sweater back here in what we call the studio. Yeah. Because it's so damn cold in, in my house. My, my old lady, charming and lovely Miss Donnie, she, you must be obeyed. Thank you very much. Uh, she believes in keeping the house cold and uh, friends have been known to stay with us and say, gee, I had to get up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, but I had to break the cover of ice in the toilet bowl before I could flush it. Yeah. I never yeah. thought about getting solar. At 300 a month, uh, it, it would pay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bill was $14 last month. You have solar? Yeah. Obviously, you have solar. Let's not pay PG&E that kind of money. That's a big, jo good job. Yep. Good now, job. let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this, Kevin. Uh, do you, do you get to sell any of it back? No, not in California. They uh, Schwarzenegger signed some bill way back. You, they size it so you come out close. They figure out how much you've been paying, and then they size it to what you, you know, what you average. <laughs> And then you get pay you pay a certain amount each month for admin fees and that sort of thing, and then it adds up over the year, and then you have a true up bill after right. a year. Now, now does that take and care? My of... true up bill was uh, minus fifty four bucks, so I basically gave them fifty four bucks, but all during the year my bill never reached more than fifteen bucks. But let month. me let me ask you this: uh, d Does Ooh. it does it more? Uh, <laughs> Uh, is the solar pretty much power everything in the house without problems? Yeah, you're not off the grid. You're just assisting the grid. You're assisting your ho your home. So, so yeah. you're during the day when the sun's out, you can look at your meter and it's pointing back towards PG&E. Yeah. What at kind night. of bill did you have before the solar? Uh, yeah. They were in the two hundred dollar range. Wow. It wasn't terrible. Did you did you buy your equipment or yes. did you okay I yeah. bought it. I had no interest in leasing it. He said yeah. you you buy you uh, Bree, Bree, he said you buy, yeah. not do buy. Okay. <laughs> Dave, that's yeah. a, I, I want to get solar too, but you know, after getting a new central air and furnace, my high bill right now is like hundred and twenty bucks a month and it's really not would, worth would it. solar make well, you know, some, mine gets mine somebody, gets up into the uh, four hundred range. A friend of mine lives in Arizona and he moved from California to Arizona and he had a hell of a time trying to put solar at his place because really? they attach all kinds of fees and 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 crap on it that I could not believe. The he couldn't get permits, you know, and, and they're a sunshine state. They could mm -hmm. be producing all kinds of stuff. But they make yeah, but it hard for you to do it out there. I'd be surprised <laughs> like in Hawaii. Can you do it, uh, Renee? Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to be one of the first Elon Musk's homes on the on the block. That's Are you buying right. the battery? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to, unfortunately, but still. What do you mean, yeah, Elon Musk? Yeah, but those are Musk supposed home. to be really good batteries. And they're not that expensive. I was kind of no. surprised. I thought for sure they would be really expensive. I don't even think they're over a grand a piece. I thought that they were about twelve hundred or something. Well, now what do you do? You, that you're then being powered by batteries. Well, what happens is the solar, all the solar panels on my roof will actually catch all of the sun, and then it'll send it down to the battery, and then as I use it, it, it pulls from the battery. So at night when there's no sunshine, all I'm doing is pulling from the battery. And yeah. then the next day I wake up, and then the sun comes up and fills up my battery again, and then yeah. we start over. But what, what are you going to do when the nuclear winter hits? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> uh, it's, it, even in the winter, it's yeah, something in Hawaii. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? Cyanide, Even in the winter, it's sunny in Hawaii. Yeah. So right. that's the other point is that we're so close to the. Here's the deal: is normally you have to have a southern facing roof. Yeah. But we're so close to the equator that I literally could put my solar shingles anywhere on my roof and still capture enough for my use well also well, also and, and, just... am, am i wrong about this but even on a cloudy day there's enough sun to power yeah. solar batteries <clears throat> there is there yeah. is with your acreage you can't put it out uh, uh you know in in the field there uh I, I need that's a new not computer. hers why don't i just put it on the roof i'll oh. tell you i'll tell you it, 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 it's not like solar panels are beautiful all right so if you can well, put them are, on, if you can put them on your roof, why not? Right, Musk has now come up with five solar shingles. Yep. Two, one single. It looks exactly like um, slate roofing. 
-hmm. The next shingle is close to looking like a Hispanic tile roofing or Mexican tile roof. Spanish tile. It's not. I didn't believe I just said that. Okay. It's Spanish. (laughs) And then the other three in that group, um, one of them. Wetback tile. Wetback tile. (laughs) That's exactly what I was thinking. (laughs) (laughs) I I was thinking along the same line that there had to be a joke there somewhere. Go ahead. (laughs) It's the only tile that can swim. (laughs) <laughs> whoever said that was got the bumper sticker i tell you that was just stopper said it but boom boom who what did he say <laughs> what did i say no the only, only tile that can swim, swim. the only I tile said. that can swim yeah 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 so it's it'll look just like whatever roofing composite you want it to look like and he's got five choices so uh three of the choices are already re- out it's the slate and the Spanish tile roof that isn't out quite yet, but will be out at the end of the year. So which one are you going with, Renee? Well, I really want to go with the slate because it's a very nice look, but it's not very Hawaiian. Well, no, I probably well, but is, 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 is the Spanish tile uh, uh, any different when it comes the to thatch, looking like Hawaii? The thatched roof you know, look. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of... Uh, Spanish I mean, if you want something too. for Hawaii, does he have have it in straw? That's yeah, rusted. That a, rusted I wasn't going to go there. Yeah, course, you weren't going to go course. there. <laughs> There's a tropical storm that has just been formed as of 5 p.m. this afternoon. So you don't want straw roofs. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. But uh, so when, when are you going to put this all in? You, I assume it isn't in yet. No, it's not. Um, we've got to submit it to the Home <laughs> Owners Association, and then we have to, uh, because we're going to be one of the first ones out, we're going to submit it to the building division so that they can clear it and make sure that it's acceptable. So that by the time we submit it and the time we get it on, those are going to be like six months apart. It's, so did you make your neighbor cut down their tree yet? Um, in the process. The, ban- the Bannon tree? Banyan tree? Banyan tree. Yeah. The Bannon like tree. His... Yeah, the Bannon tree. Yeah, Bannon. Yeah. Bannon yeah, is the guy on Seinfeld. No, Bannon <laughs> is the guy running our president. Uh, uh, Bannon yeah. was uh, Link's arch nemesis. Like, they're one and the same, pretty much. Uh, what's Who's nemesis? Gannon is actually the name of the uh, villain, the primary antagonist to Link in the uh, video game. Uh, oh, no, uh, Gannon. Uh, Link's the, franchise, uh, Legend of Zelda franchise, but uh, Gannon, Bannon. Uh, Gannon's the guy on Dragnet. Right. We better better let let Jack go because he has yeah, a sh- go. he has a show to do. Catch you uh, on the other side. Yeah, and some of you people might want to join him tonight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, give him your your uh, best it's crowd. Fr- it, it's, it's it's Friday night, and we can all hang out together. And my wife won't even complain. Okay. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later, Jack. Talk to you later, buddy. I always have to remind him that he has a show to do because I would hate to take him up to my signing off and him not being ready to go. So anyway, um, uh, so uh, where, what, what uh, did we learn anything tonight? No, we never learned anything on this program. Uh, you learned about the uh, fidget spinner, huh? Oh yeah, there goes a fidget spinner. <laughs> Wait a minute, who? Oh, oh, there we go. There's a fidget spinner. Now, is that all it does? Yeah, it's yeah. all it does. It spins. Yes. And 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 uh, I I get and you know strangely I want one of those. Like I said, yeah. it's for kids a- who have like ADD, but then it just became popular for everybody. People who we need to do th- something with their hands all the time. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's like the old squeeze ball. I, 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 yeah, I have one of those things that strengthen your fingers, uh, and I keep it in the car, and so <clears> you <throat> you can pull a, a, it. You put it in your hand. And uh, you can push the. There's five, four buttons or five yeah. buttons. And well, I have something that uh, that uh, that uh, stretches <laughs> my fingers. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> just a joke, folks. The just a joke. Well, that wasn't necessary. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, thanks to uh, Lee Presson for it's joining not- us tonight, Lee. Thank you so much, Phil. Always a pleasure Good to thing. have you here. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, a delight as well. Jason, I wish it could be more often, but you know. Yeah. Uh, you're pussy whipped. What can I say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some good pussy. Yeah, some good pussy though. That's uh, yeah. If you're gonna be whipped, it better be for some good pussy. Well, uh, Renee, I'm sorry we said pussy. Okay, and uh, uh, Mike, thank you. Bree, great hearing from you. 
and and conning us into thinking you were in Dubai for the first 10 minutes of this program. Uh, uh, Tony Magno, thank you. And of course, Kevin, always as usual, thank you. Everybody, wave a big goodbye to everybody. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. And that's it for our citizens panel for tonight. Uh, you can hear them all hanging up on me. And I'm hang I just hung up on them as well. Stay tuned for a Jack and Amy. They're next. They're here with the uh, intersection. And then at 1 o'clock in the morning, Connections, which is uh, on at, uh, at, at, at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be back here on Tuesday. We're going to have a short week next week. We're only going to do three days because we're actually going to go away and do something. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Would you, wouldn't you know that Mike would be the first guy to be calling the next show? And I didn't hang up here. So let me hang up. So And I'll hang up on him as well. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank you, Mike. God. So I forgot to turn off the Skype. Anyway, in the meantime, I'll see you on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life. And if you see her, you know, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Bye.